Well, our next inductees are a retail success story. The father and son team of Len and Jim Tweeten founded Magnolia Audio Video. In 1954, Len opened Magnolia Stationery. But when he added a few stereo components a few years later, he noticed an uptick in customers. Tweeten's store soon morphed into Magnolia Hi-Fi, the prototype for all high-end audio video stores that followed. What made Magnolia so special was Len's loyalty to his customers and his employees. And in 1992, he was doing great, and he handed operations to his son, Jim, who became president and CEO. Jim, though, took it further. He transformed this 13-store chain into a national high-end audio and video retailing titan with more than 350 locations. He totally pioneered the store with an historic concept to create a richer customer experience with more home theater and custom design products. By 2000, Magnolia was generating $100 million in sales, and the Tweetons sold it to Best Buy. Today, there are 380 Magnolia in-store locations and four freestanding Magnolias. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Len and Jim Tweeton. And thank you, the CAA and Gary and all the judges for giving us a vote. You know, it's been quite a ride that we've had. You know, it started with a little store in Magnolia Village in the part of Seattle. And my dad started with stationery, and I used to go up there as a little kid getting my peaches and my pencils and pens, you know. And with that one little store, and then from where we got to where we're at today, through the support and love of not only my wife, Ilsa, and my daughter, Andrea, and all my partners at Magnolia who are here tonight, as well as my best friend at Best Buy, Julie. She's here as well. And so what we created and what my dad, you know, was my mentor in my life, and created a, a uh, culture within a, a company that was all about the customer. And, and this was before customer centricity and all those type of words. And it was all about one customer, every one at a time. And we had that one little store with 1,000 square feet, and we used to sell dual record players, Sansui's and Kenwood's and Advent speakers and KLH. And, and there's not many of us left nowadays, you know, especially retailer. And uh, so what we created with Inside Best Buy and Best Buy and Dick Schultz and Brad Anderson and my best boss I've ever had, L. Lenzmeyer, created something in the belief of Magnolia to do and buy Magnolia and to develop that concept within Best Buy stores throughout the United States. That's our legacy, and I just want to be proud and want to uh, thank again everyone for this honor, and thank you, and here's my dad, Len. Thank you. Thank you, Jim, and thank you for uh, uh, getting us in the uh, Hall of Famer. I, I really can't believe we are here, really, with all these very famous people. You know, you should have seen this little store that we started. It was unbelievable. But thank everyone for giving us the honor to be a, a Hall of Famer. And my family, my wonderful wife, I, uh, Rebecca. Wow, I slipped there. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> I
I got a little cough this morning. I must have been a little nervous. <laughs> but there were so many things that helped make Magnolia. And I just like the, besides our people were fantastic, but you know, it was really so fantastic that we had such fantastic products that we introduced, like bows and Bangalows and Nakamichi and Tanberg and just a few manufacturers. Without those manufacturers, I don't think we could have been really what we were. And of course, I was thinking this morning too, the other thing that really helped us was the music that we had at that time. And of course, my favorite two pieces, of course, some of you guys will remember was Dave Brubeck, Take Five. Oh, man. <laughs> Yeah, and one last one, of course, was Eric Clapton and got a divia. <laughs> oh, man. I had so much fun in the business. We had a great trip, and uh, we hit a wave, Jim. Yeah. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you.